Hey folks, it is Wednesday, April 3rd. The time is around 5.45 p.m. and the temperature right now is around four degrees Celsius. And as you can tell, it is raining. And there is a look east along Carlton Street. And that was Young Street and Carlton where I was just standing, College Street over on the west side of Young. And there's an entrance down to College Station. And about eight months ago, in July, I recorded a video that went on to be one of the most viewed videos ever on this channel. I think it's currently a little bit over 520,000 views, or it's at. And that was starting from just where I started this one over to the Allen Gardens where the largest homeless encampment in the city was taking place and a week ago I was walking along Girard Street and things looked much quieter there back in July there were dozens and dozens of tents and countless outreach workers in the park. So I just thought I'd go and see how things are eight months later. So we're gonna walk over to the Allen Gardens. I'll walk through the park. It's been raining like this all day and I just got an alert from Google that there's heavy showers expected around 9 p.m. There's the Maple Leaf Gardens former home of the Toronto Maple Leafs. It's also where what is now the National Basketball Association had their first ever game between the Toronto Huskies and the New York Knickerbockers. And the wind is starting to pick up. As you can see that guy's umbrella blew inside out. This is church coming up. And I think on any given day, there's something in the neighborhood of 8,500 people in the city experiencing homelessness. Although based on a purely first-hand anecdotal account, I would say the encampment at Clarence Square Park over on the west side of downtown has outgrown the one at Allen Gardens. There was also a propane explosion there earlier this year.
This is Mutual Street. There is the Oasis Aqua Lounge. If you're curious as to what goes on in there, I suggest opening up a browser tab and popping that one into Google. You might be surprised. I seem to be keeping up with this streetcar pretty good. On the right is the site of the old Primrose Hotel that's now student residences for Toronto Metropolitan University. I'm not the only one struggling to keep their umbrella upright. And this is the Allen Gardens just up here on the right. And for its open to the public botanical gardens. Although at centerpiece, the Palm House is undergoing renovations. And I think along with that, the public washroom facilities are closed. You can see the scaffolding around the Palm House. That's a building that dates back to 1910. And I think construction is supposed to wrap up sometime before the end of the year. And then I told her, yeah, they should get it. Park looks quite muddy. There's an off leash area for dogs. And this part of the city is called the Garden District. Bounded by Carlton Street here to the north, Sherburne Street, which is coming up to the east, Queen Street to the south, and Young Street to the west. So I'll just walk over to the northeast corner of the park and we'll walk through it from there. I had a thought to live stream after this. I might still do it, but I'm having my doubts with this wind. It might be hard to manage the camera and the umbrella. But this intersection here is Sherburn and Carlton. There's a sign indicating we're at the Allen Gardens. And this has been cleaned up considerably. There were numerous tents on either side of the walkway last time I walked through here. I can see, let's see, one, two, three, maybe just four or five tents. 
and a couple of teepees, it looks like. I am not sure where everyone went, but I knew someone who lives in the building just over there. He commented that a number of his neighbors were concerned that they could no longer safely use the park. A number of people in his building had been harassed. Walking through here, some had children that they no longer wanted to take into the park. Hopefully that's no longer the case. There's the Palm House building. What a difference. There's a fire burning in one of those teepees that says it's too windy. I can't make out what that red flag says, but it says First Nations people on the bottom flag. And they still have this sign here sacred fire ceremony in progress. Please respect this space and do not interrupt. Do not take photos or videos. Well, we're in a public park. So I will respect their space, but I'm not going to put my camera away. That's not how the law works. You don't get to make up your own rules. There were a number of tents in here. There's a large one over there. It looks like they have a gate. Hopefully I don't give myself a soaker walking through here. Yeah, this was <laughs> probably a not so smart idea. Walking along the grass here. As my right foot has indeed gotten what we call up north a soaker. That's when your sock gets wet or your foot gets wet inside your shoe or boot. I think that's a uniquely Canadian term. And this here is Gerard Street.
we'll just check out this last little bit of the park up here. Playground on the left. There's the back side of the palm house. No dogs allowed in playground. I just want to pass through it here. And there is Jarvis Street. And I know for my usual videos, this one was a bit on the shorter side. I just wanted to swing through here and give a status update. I'm not trying to make any political statements or anything like that. Just show things the way they are. As we admire this East facing mural and on that note I hope you enjoyed it let me know your thoughts and comments down below if you wish to support what I do on YouTube there's links to my patreon and YouTube channel membership down in the description I have an Instagram account at Johnny strides and there is a super thanks button appearing below the video if you wish to say thanks that way anywho maybe I will do that live stream thank you for watching guys Yoink.